Pomar. The trailer for Ridley Scott's new movie Napoleon gives us tantalizing glimpses of the epic film. It also reminds us of some of the most storied and fascinating works hanging in museums across Paris. So come with us as we explore the French art that inspired the film. If you love art and Paris, like and subscribe for more content. Pomar. In these few shots shown in the trailer, we know that Ridley Scott plans to include the bombastic coronation of Napoleon. And why not? It was that day that the general not only ended the Republican grand fashion, but he even outraged the Pope by crowning himself emperor. This was captured by David's The Coronation of Napoleon, one of the most famous paintings in the permanent collection at the Louvre. When it was first shown to Napoleon, the leader declared that the painting was a world you could walk into, thanks to its enormous scale and crisply rendered detail. The celebration took place at Notre Dame on December 2, 1804. David finished the painting three years later, and now, more than 200 years after the event, it will be on the big screen again as Scott interprets this pivotal moment in European history. One can't help but talk about Josephine when you talk about Napoleon. While in real life, Josephine was six years older than her husband, in the film she is played by Vanessa Kirby, who is 13 years younger than Joaquin Phoenix, who plays Napoleon. Nevertheless, we suspect that costumes will no doubt reference the tremendous amount of portraiture that survives of the Empress, like this stunning and overly royal work by Francois Girard that hangs at Fontainebleau. Girard owed a lot to the Emperor, who made him a baron. He also painted the military leader in this capture of the Battle of Austerlitz. The most obvious example of Scott's love for French art history is his recreation of Jean-Léon Jérôme's Bonaparte Before the Sphinx. The actual painting is a true masterpiece, one that blends the myth of Oedipus and the real-life grandeur of Napoleon into a work that spans millennia as it tries to grasp what it means to be a great leader. The man on the precipice of creating a new Europe looks upon a monument once overseen by a pharaoh. This is one French classic you can't see on a visit to Paris. It hangs in Hearst Castle in California, the mansion of a titan of industry whose life was parodied in the Orson Welles masterpiece, Citizen Kane. The Napoleon trailer shows that director Scott has made a film that draws inspiration from French art history. And that alone might be worth the price of admission. To read more about art history in Paris, visit pomart.guide. To see more videos featuring the stunning arts and culture in the City of Lights, remember to like and subscribe. And if there are any films you would like to see receive this treatment, tell us in the comments below. Until next time, au revoir. Pomart.